the Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island Chris Tucker. Oh, nice. <laughs> if I didn't know no better, I'd tell you he's the greatest. Turns out Williams may not have been lying about Chris Tucker having a history with the very controversial Epstein, and the confirmation came from the actor himself. You knew Jeffrey Epstein, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did. I did. I, oh my God. You know, we flew. But the big question is, why is this even such a big deal? Well, here's why. The day many high-profile figures may have been dreading has happened, as dozens of big names have been revealed in the first wave of late convicted offender Jeffrey Epstein. Tell me, how many times have you seen someone star in a movie franchise that broke all the records for years and even had installments to it? Get up and leave the entertainment industry without looking back? Not a lot. Well, this was Chris Tucker's story. Initially, we thought his decision to exit Hollywood came from a place of touching the highest of heights, which made sense since he had his face on the covers of major productions. But Cat Williams has just revealed that we might not have been entirely correct. It seems having the type of success he did opened him up to a world of access to all the deepest secrets of the entertainment industry. And if we're to take Williams's word for it, this site might have been too ugly for Tucker to handle. To most people, when the name Chris Tucker comes up, the first thing that usually comes to mind is for those that do know him well enough, is stand-up. For others who might not know his history well enough, Rush Hour is the first thought. Well, the thing that both sides have in common is that they're aware he became immensely successful in both professional pursuits, especially considering that decades after, his stand-up shows and his movie with actor Jackie Chan are still getting views like they aren't from an entirely different generation. And while his Rush Hour partner went on to star in an almost endless list of movies, Tucker decided to hang his boots. This singular move from this global superstar has left several people, fans and fellow celebrities alike, with questions about what makes a man with that much potential in front of him decide not to pursue it. This conversation has already gone back and forth on social media, with people claiming that the most probable reason for his decision was that he already made more money than he could ever need off of the projects he already made. This, if we're to believe what Cat Williams has just said, couldn't be further from the truth. It seems Tucker realized that the perception he had of Hollywood coming up in the industry was miles away from his reality when he became one of the big names himself. Now many people may be hesitant about believing William's side of this story, because let's face it, he doesn't exactly have a history of staying out of controversy, but what tips the scales slightly in his favor is that the claims he made about Tucker already have their foundation in published reports involving several of the biggest names in the industry, and even the world at large. 40 of an expected 250 documents have been released so far, but Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, Stephen Hawking, Donald Trump and Michael Jackson are already among the names made public. Throughout the years, several people have told us that the entertainment industry isn't really what it poses to be on the outside to people who aren't there, and more times than not, we've doubted these claims. These days, they aren't just claims anymore. Several pieces of evidence have been coming out to confirm the stories. And in the spirit of revelations being made, it seems Chris Tucker might have known a lot more about the dark side of this industry than he'd been letting up. Tucker's rise to fame was nothing short of a wild roller coaster ride. I'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am. He originally became a frequent guest on the legendary Deaf Comedy Jam in 1992, showcasing his exceptional, clean stand up comedy routines. Unlike many comedians of the time who relied on vulgar humor, Tucker's comedic style was a breath of fresh air, witty, sharp, and family friendly. It wasn't long before Tucker's talent caught the attention of the silver screen. In 1994, he made his film debut in House Party 3, rubbing shoulders with the likes of Bernie Mac, Marquez Houston, and Condi Alexander. But it wasn't until much later that Tucker would get to a point he could truly leave a mark with one of his most notable and side-splitting performances on Friday, among others. However, the man seemingly exited the limelight with the same speed it took him to get in, and according to Cat Williams, this might have been tied to him getting exposed to the dark side of the industry. Williams suggested that Tucker had traveled to convicted S offender Jeffrey Esteen's island, where the late financier was running an ST ring with partner Ghislaine Maxwell. In a new viral interview on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay, the Friday After Next star spoke about why it would be hard to make another Friday movie due to the many great people that have passed on since the original films. However, William said Tucker, who is still alive, is no longer the same person he was when he originally portrayed Smokey in the 1995 cult classic. And the Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island's Chris Tucker, not Smokey, William said.
the Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island Chris Tucker, oh, not Smokey. What makes Kat's story seem far from a lie is that there were also dozens of high-profile names that appeared in the previously sealed court documents related to Epstein, which featured the names of over 170 associates of the convicted ST. For those who may not have been aware, ever since billionaire Jeffrey Epstein was arrested on July 6th on charges of ST, the media have been scrambling to make sense of what happened on Little St. James, his 70-acre private island in the Caribbean. But on on nearby St. Thomas, locals say Epstein continued to bring underage girls to the island as recently as this year, a decade after he was forced to register as a convicted SO, and that authorities did nothing to stop him. Two employees who worked at the local airstrip on St. Thomas tell Vanity Fair that they witnessed Epstein boarding his private plane on multiple occasions in the company of girls who appeared to be under the age of consent. According to the employees, the girls arrived with Epstein aboard one of his two Gulfstream jets. Between January 2018 and June 2019, previously published flight records show the jets were airborne at least one out of every three days. They stopped all over the world, sometimes for only a few hours at a time, Paris, London, Slovakia, Mexico, Morocco. When they left St. Thomas, the employees say, they returned to airports near Epstein's homes in Palm Beach and New York City. On multiple occasions, I saw Epstein exit his helicopter, stand on the tarmac in full view of my tower, and board his private jet with children, female children, says a former air traffic controller at the airstrip who asked to remain anonymous. One incident in particular really stands out in my mind because the girls were just so young. They couldn't have been over 16. Epstein looked very angry and hurled his jacket at one of them. They were also carrying shopping bags from stores, not on the island. I remember thinking, where in the world have they been shopping? According to the recently released documents, some of the celebrities whose names had come up for having been guests on the island ranged from powerful political figures all the way to some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, including the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Donald Trump, and Michael Jackson, who, if I might add, Cat Williams revealed to have been best friends with Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> to be confident and not delusional is a real skill. Most of these confident people we see is really the Lula. Well, you don't think you don't think that seeing as these people who you could say ruled the entertainment industry at different points were the ones mentioned, it's not far fetched to think that Tucker might have landed an invite to the island since he was also at the top of his game back when he was still in it. Well, several fans seem to buy Williams' story, claiming that they had known something was fishy about Tucker even before now. One of these people wrote, I've always thought Chris Tucker walking away from Smokey because he didn't want to be the poster child for smoking weed was so stupid, especially in the 90S00S. Others are saying Tucker is just one of many people on a black book and might not be as innocent of it all as we think. They wrote, I'm telling y'all, some are surprised or still in denial, but Trump and his family have been in the black book, which was released a while ago and redacted. And yes, Chris Tucker is in it too. Damn. However, some fans also stood up to Tucker's defense, claiming that he didn't actually go there to partake in the dark activities. One person wrote, Nah, we ain't doing that. Chris Tucker was Bill Clinton's friend. They did humanitarian work with Bono for a spell there. They just used Epstein's plane. I mean, if Chris Tucker really did go there for a completely different reason, I ask you, is it so unthinkable that the things he saw other big names in the industry indulge in might have been what sent him on his heels out of the industry? Most of his fans on the internet don't think it's entirely unlikely, but there are still so many levels to this story that raise even more questions. Yeah, because Chris Tucker is smart. Like, he seems like one of those types of dudes who, like, if, if there was, if that, like, basically, if, if he had a group of friends and they wanted to go explore some scary cave, he wouldn't want to go. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Chris Tucker would be like, oh, nah. Like, he would be like, he would literally be like, He'd be like, nah, y'all are stupid. Like, I'm not going there. Like, y'all are, y'all are, y'all are gonna, y'all gonna find out. Like, you know what I mean? He would not be with that. I could already tell. You know what I mean? So it's like, I definitely think he could have saw something at either parties. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta remember, people see stuff at parties all the time. He could have saw something at a party. He could have saw something on the island, bro. There's a numerous, a myriad of things he could have saw. I mean, he could have saw stuff on um, at certain um, events where, like, okay, let's say he's going to go film something. They might have some situation after that where they do stuff, like, where they chill after there. They might have an after party or something like that. 
Like, there's so many times where you could have seen something. There's there's an, there's probably an, a numerous amount of times. So, I mean, the question is, do y'all believe what Cat Williams is proposing? Because the way Cat Williams is saying it, he's basically like, hey, man, he, you know, he was on the island. You know what I mean? Like, let me play that back one more time. Right, so you know, he just said the Chris Tucker that we got now is is the one from the island. Like he just said that, he said the Chris Tucker that we got now is the is is you know, the island Chris Tucker. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Like that you know. So it's like all right, you know, he's already insinuating that bro is not on that same type of timing because. Come on now. He probably got he probably had to wake up. He probably saw something that made him wake up to a reality that he never wanted to have to be awoken to. Do you understand? And at that point, he cut his losses. You know what I mean? He was like, I already have I've already done I've already been successful. I've already done many iconic things. And it's like, I don't need to take this any further if this is gonna be hold up. If this is going to be something that's going to compromise my morals or um, put me in a situation where I have to make certain decisions that I am not morally, you know, certain things that I'm just not down to get down with. You know what I mean? If I have to do certain things, then I'm not trying to do that. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be in these circles around these people because I know these people, they're going to be on these islands, they're going to be at these parties, they're going to be in these situations, and they're going to be indulging, and they're going to be worshipping demonic spirits. <laughs> okay, so, yes, it gets like that. It, it's like that, like, literally. So, once you're equipped with that information, it's easy to make a decision. It's really a yes or no decision. There's only two. De there's only two options in life. You know what I mean? There's only two options in life. Either you can worship demonic spirits or you cannot do that. Do you understand? So it's like... um, And then when you think about Chris Tucker, I mean, do you think he's the type of guy who will be into something like that? Like, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I think he would be like... He would be all scared. Like, he would be like how... Bro, he would be like how Smokey is, bro. He would be scared if he saw something scary, bro. He would be not with that, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm not putting anything past them because I wouldn't put anything past anyone because I know you got to do certain things to even get to a certain level to even begin with. But I'm just saying that um, there's certain things that I don't imagine him being down with. I just imagine him being like, nah, like, nah I can't do that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. So, I mean, what do y'all think about it? I mean... I agree. I mean, I or I can't say... I'm going to say I could see that. I'm not going to say I just agree. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Like, I couldn't tell y'all for sure for a fact what the reason is why he stopped really being into, like, you know, why he stopped really pushing it forward, why he stopped going crazy, going hard with it, you know? But I could say that I could see this. You know what I mean? This is definitely an outcome that I could see to be plausible. You know what I mean? Like, I could definitely see this being, like, a very likely way for this to, for him to have stopped. Because there's only so many reasons you're going to stop when you're someone who's that iconic, right? Like, you don't just stop like that just, <laughs> just randomly, right? Like, there's not that many coincidences in the universe. So you don't end up being one of the most iconic people to ever be in movies ever, and then just stop randomly, right? Yeah, <laughs> like... Like let's use our heads here, right? Let's use our heads and not be naive. We don't we we don't need to be naive here. So, I mean, you you don't you don't end up being one of the most iconic people to ever be in movies ever in history, and then you just stop the next day just because like oh you know well I think I think I'm just gonna stop now. No, that's usually not how that goes. You understand? There's usually a reason behind things like that. There's a reason behind things. Things are not coincidental like that. Nothing is coincidental. There's no random action in this universe. Okay, that's what you need to really understand. So, um, yeah, so I mean, as far as it goes, I mean, like I said, I can see it. I can see it for the reasons that I've stated. The question is, what do y'all think? You know, do you, let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree or do you agree with the points that were brought up in this video with Cat Williams and Chris Tucker 
and the, the end of his um you know why he stopped really moving forward with um the whole his whole acting career and everything so i mean y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below you know do y'all disagree with me do you agree with the points that i brought up or do you disagree i mean let me know what you guys think in the comments below but um yeah yeah, and also I was going to say, like, the people who like the videos, the people who subscribe, um, and the people who watch every video and like and comment on the videos, the subscribe with the notifications on, like, dude, I, that means everything. Not to me, but, no, to me too, but to the world. That means everything to the youth, you know what I mean? I really appreciate you guys for supporting the, uh, the, the message, you know what I mean? Because we got to get the message out here. You know, you got a, you got a sibling, you got a brother, you got a cousin. You got someone. There's someone who needs to hear this message. You can't be selfish enough to just hide this message from them. That would be insane. I mean, think about if you were hearing the most important thing that you've ever heard in, the, in your entire existence, and then you hide it from other people. That's insane. You have to tell those people. I, or I would think so. I would tell those people. I would. You know? And then it's like, it, you know, I think like 50 to 70% of you guys are not subscribed. And it's like... Well, if you're hearing the most important message that you've ever heard in the entire existence of existence of anything ever, how are you not subscribed to that message when it's free? You know, I mean, I understand that sometimes, you know, we just don't think about these things, but these things are important to think about. And this is why I have to remind you guys, because, you know, it's incredibly important for you guys to know. But yeah, y'all, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The snow is right here. Be easy, y'all.